Hello, hello, my name is Odinson, and this is Minecraft modded 1.19 Direwolf 20 pack, and I am quite obviously in the nether, but that is because I wanted to get a decent amount of lava, because like I said in the last episode, this is episode 7 by the way, I thought it was episode 5 last time, but it was 6, episode 7. I want to get the uh, portal to the mining dimension because I want to seal off that mine underneath my base. I don't need it anymore. This tank is really easy to make, by the way. It's literally from mechanism and it's four iron and four redstone. Uh, I believe it holds 32 buckets. So good investment. And I'm going to take all the lava from the nearest pool I could find in the nether. Have a look. 9,000, yeah, I think it's 32. There are other ways of getting this obsidian, but this was just the easiest for me right now. Uh, how many is that? One more. There we go. A nice full tank of lava. So I'm going to take that. Use my hacky home command, which is built into the pack. Uh, still daytime, so that's good. And I'm going to give it a one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oops. All right. I want to get some of that dirt back. All right, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Eight is what we wanted. Thank you, York. All right, put the tank down, get the bucket. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you're not. F oh. Oh, God. I've messed this right up now. There we go. All right. So now we've got all that lava. Oh, geez. Look how quick that sugar cane grows. Get a bucket of water. Put this somewhere in the middle. Right there. Get the bucket of water back. And I'm just going to mine this out. And this may take a while. Uh, what I might do is just do it this way because it's kind of less painful. Okay, and now I need to do the thing again because I'm a fool. All right, and if I remember rightly, the recipe for this was this. Oh, I need to go over here. Keep forgetting I've moved all my stuff. I'm just going to dump this dirt in here because I can. Only needed one of those, dude, but hey, obsidian around... Oh, it was a diamond pickaxe, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. That. Okay. Oh, come on. Here we go. Two of these. Diamond pick. You in here and you in there. And there we go. We got a portal block. You can live in this corner. We'll just go and check it out. Might take a second first time because I haven't loaded this dimension yet. But what this gives you is an eternal daytime, flat, empty world to go mine in. Which is going to be so much better for me. 
Uh, what? Oh. Weird. Why did that render there? Makes no sense. All right, but what that does mean is that I can basically seal off this. I'm going to do a few blocks down, like here. And then I won't get any more monsters coming up from underneath. It's pretty well lit down there, so there's no reason for them to come up here anymore. Hop! Good. And just get rid of that. Um, yeah, thank you. Okay, another thing I got whilst I was in the nether, I found glowstone, which is going to come in very handy very shortly. <clears throat> I'm going to show you uh, what Torchmaster does in a minute. But um, I wanted all the time because I wanted to replace cable and start moving machines and shit. Almost swore. How bad of me. Um, and other stuff. But what I'm going to do is start removing this stuff now. And then I do believe oh, I'm going to have to sleep. But before we sleep, I'm going to come up here. To get rid of this and this and this and you and you and then just to be tidy I just want one piece of cobblestone come back down the ladder run away because baddies will be coming <coughs> sleep through the night and then we're going to get into moving this stuff downstairs and Getting properly situated. That up here will literally be interesting. Um, will literally be just like storage drawers in here and um, stuff for outdoor stuff like Batania, which all of that is going to take up some space eventually, like some decent amount of space. All right, so I should probably get a stack of cobble because I'm going to be breaking things. Um. Yeah, so I put that there, but I don't actually need that there right now anymore. Um, why aren't you on now? A. Oh, yeah, right, because you're... Um... Uh-huh, 93% full, so therefore you don't need to be on. Got you, got you, got you. It's working as intended, folks. That's good. Uh, that's a hoe. That's not going to break stone. Um... Okay, so I want to break you off. And then I kind of want to... Do this. So... I... What I can do... Good old trick is to sneak and then come across here. And I'm probably going to need to get my pipe wrench out of my... If I do that... And then I cause myself some damage. Like that. And what I could do for now is just um, put these behind here until I find... Well, what I'm going to do, I'll, feed, I'll be feeding that pipe into the wall and feeding the machines from behind so it's so much tidier. But I'll do that off camera. I just want this working for right now so I can do what I want to do. So you need to go there. We need that. We're going to need these as well. So I'm just hooking this up to this power supply. And I don't have to worry about wind power anymore because this is just epic. But I do need my pipe wrench. This much is true. And it's not in there. So I'm going to have to go back up and get it. Kind of sucks. There it is. All right. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna break you. You know what? I'm going to um, put this back here like a staircase, like I did before. And what I wanna do is um, set the back as output. That's good. And then I want to use the pipe wrench and um, turn that into an extract like that. Which is good. So they should be feeding all these machines. Now, 
Universal cable is the stuff I want to be using, not this stuff. Okay, so it's steel. There's two ways to get to steel. You can get into the immersive engineering mod, or you can use this metallurgic infuser, and I'm gonna show you how. So I need to get, I've got plenty of iron. I smelted up a bunch. Oh, I could put that um, charger down as well. One sec, guys, one sec. I'll put him there. Just in case I need to charge anything. All right. And I'm gonna get all of that, but look, remember where I locked the drawer? There's zero in there, but it still shows us coal, so nothing else is gonna go into that slot. And that will be important later. Now, one thing you can do with the enrichment chamber. Oh, we haven't got the enrichment chamber, we've got the pulverizer. Interesting. If I get two, four, six, eight, that means I'm gonna need 16 coal. It takes two coal to make the steel dust that we need now. So watch this, okay? I'm gonna put the coal in this side now instead of redstone. And if I add my iron, I can now speed this up because I don't really care about power anymore. And it should keep up just fine. Yep. And you get enriched iron. And then if you put that in again with another eight coal. You get steel dust. Which is awesome because then you just go next door to the redstone furnace, stick that in there, give it a bit of a time boost. And you get steel. And that's the easier way to get it rather than getting into immersive engineering. But I probably will be setting up immersive engineering very soon because it's a cool mod. There's lots you could do with it. And um, just fun to play with. Even though I don't really need to as I've got the nuclear reactor. I can do some cool things with immersive engineering, which I will be playing with later. But for right now, it's not my priority. I'm going to go back up. We're going to get four redstone. I'm going to do that. And we've got 32 universal cable. Yay! I so prefer this stuff because there's none of this input output. Majobbery. And what we can do is we can just, yep, and you can see it lights up when it's got power in it. Okay, and I want to go one, da, da, da. that's full. Okay. Beautiful. All right, that's good. Um, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna put that in there then. Pipe wrench, lava, bucket. Keep the rest for now, I'm gonna throw that. And I might put some pipes in there just because. Okay. That's good. We wanted that done. Okay. So next on my list is um, from the thermal series as well is the induction smelter. <clears throat> now the problem is I want the induction smelter to make stuff like Invar because Invar is made by, you know, smelting these ingots together and everything. But what you can do is make Invar blend just to get enough for this. I need eight, so I need three of these recipes, which means I need six iron dust and three Invar dust. Uh, nickel dust, sorry. One nickel to two iron makes Invar. And it just so happens I have nickel. So I want three of them and three, four, five, six, six of them. Now, what I'm going to have to do is turn off that auto output stuff. Go down to my basement. Because I want to pulverize it, but I don't want it to go into the smelter. So I'm going to just turn that off. That off. And then I'm going to pulverize it. 
pulverize this and I'm going to use my time in a bottle because who has time? There we go. <clears throat> Do that. And then we could just put them together in there. Iron dust and nickel grit. Hold on a sec here. Hold, 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 hold on. Nickel grit and iron dust. Now, why is this not working? Am I missing something? Oh, it's because it's the wrong kind. We just need to do this. Okay, there we go. I was getting confused. At least it allows you to convert, which is good. And I'm just going to do that. <clears throat> We've got our first invar. Good. Good, good, good. Back up here. All right, so we need two iron nuggets. What else do we need for this recipe? One of them. One of them. We need a tin gear. We need glass. Uh, tin, silver, tin. We need gold. Um, we need glass. We need iron nuggets. Okay. I'm gonna go down. We're just gonna put that tin on quickly. Appetite, that's interesting. Oh yeah, would help if I um, did that and that. Okay, got all that. And what we could do now is we can make our Invar gears, which is two. We can make our redstone reception coil or flux coil even. We need two sign, we need one of them so we can make this and then we can make that. Got that, that, that. Now what do we need for the top bit? Um, a blast furnace, so I'm gonna need some smooth stone, which is smelted stone, okay. And then I'm going to need a furnace, so I'm just going to need a bunch of um, you. So one, two, three. Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to uh, do this. And then we're going to smelt it again. Smooth stone. Okay. And then we need a furnace. Are we done yet? Uh, blast furnace. Moonstone, iron. Yes. Yes. Uh, to sand. Sand. Oh my god. <clears throat> I make the excuse that we needed to um, come up here to sleep anyway. How have I only got one sand? Alright, there's one thing I can do. I'm going to take that whilst we're here. Because we've got a spot for gravel. Yep. But what I can do, rather than go hunting for sand, I believe... Will this work? I can't remember. Yes. Perfect. Okay, and now we should be able to make our induction smelter. And what this gives us the ability to do is make alloys, but more importantly, not have to grind stuff into dust. I could just put ingots in there to make stuff. Makes life a lot easier because now I'm going to need this. <clears throat> I 
How far are we? We've got 10 minutes, so I'm going to make this. Okay, cool. Um, so I've got one in bar. All right, so let's go back upstairs briefly. Uh, so what I need is some of that nickel. I'm going to take that. I'm just going to make a cheeky extra gold ingot because I just want a gold gear quickly. No, I need that. And then redstone, glass, and in the bar. That's all I need. Good. I just need some redstone. Hey. Right, so, induction smelter. Um, I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's gonna smelt my um, invar. And then I've got glass and redstone, so I'm all good. So I'm just gonna um, speed this along a bit. Good. And then we're going to make you. And what this allows you to do is upgrade the thermal blocks. So before I do this, you can see that this only holds 1 million RF. But if I make it into a, a hard redstone one, that doubles it to 2, 2 million RF. And if I go to the next one, which is a reinforced internal components, blah, blah, blah. I make another one of them and then I've got... Electrum, which will double it again, which I believe will give us four million. Now, the, there's not really much need to do this. Like two million RF is plenty for what I'm doing right now. The reactor is on, and it's slowly emptying because this is filling quicker than it can produce more than. Yeah, because this takes a thousand RF per tick. But once this is full, this will fill up pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. It is producing 970 RF per tick. I call it RF redstone flux. Um, it's actually forge energy is a more accurate description of it right now. But there we go. So we've got that. We've got that. And we've got that. All right, so we're doing all good right now. Um, so we've done that. What else did I want to get done? I'm going to double click that to get rid of all the extra stuff. Going to get rid of all the other stuff in my inventory. Uh, go blah, 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 blah. And then we'll sort it. Okay. And them, and them. Put the glass in there. Clay was something I have a lot of that I'm going to um, actually show you. Hey, the beginnings of immersive engineering here. So what we want to do is make a coke oven because you smelt steel by um, smelting iron with coal coke. But in order to make coal coke, you need a, a coal, um, a coke oven which requires four times three. You need 27 blocks because it's a three by three by three structure, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So four times nine, 36. I need 36 clay. Like that. Um, in the furnace. Give it a good old time boost. <clears throat> that means this is using more than a thousand RF per second. A lot more. About two thousand. All right. So that's that and that. And I think it was sandstone, wasn't it? It means I need nine. It means I need 36 sand because four... Four sand makes one sandstone. So if I take 
one of these. Um, split it, 36. Um, I kind of want to put that away, but not all of it. There we go. Yeah, that's how you do that. Okay, so we are going to do the things. Turn, yeah, that's off. That's off. We're going to pulverize that in sand. Yeah, flint is a byproduct. And we've killed the power. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we're going to turn that into sandstone, and then we should be able to make our coke bricks. Give us nine sets, which is 27. Perfect. And then we need to go back up. I know I need to get a couple of sticks. In and in there, a couple of iron. And have we got it? Ooh. Well, that's a pain in the butt. I need a couple of string. Now, give me a minute here. This could take me to the end of the episode. Industrial hemp fiber, yes. Flax. Supplementary flax. And I remember there was a whole bunch over here somewhere. Fast as fuck, boy. There's some. For that side. Wee. I'm hoeing it. Why am I only getting seeds? Meow. Hold on. Flax. I need the flax flowers. That makes blue dye. That's not what I want. Flax bale is the only way to get that. We're going to have to do the industrial hemp deal here i believe which kind of sucks because i wasn't ready to start farming this stuff but it had to be done at some point no room in there all right so where are the hemp seeds where have i got them there 60 oh my god okay let's see if we can squeeze this in quickly into this episode bucket what I'm gonna do is just um ha that's above my basement of course it is um all right oh god I forgot my thing picks it up Okay, so we're going to go down this end where my basement isn't. 
we're gonna um just put hey there we go okay uh bucket of water <coughs> and this is where the hoe comes in handy Turn this grass into farmland. We're gonna see the water start to spread. I'm gonna stickle this here because this will be a good source of string going forward. All right. And then what I'm gonna go get is the bone meal that I was making before. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away for the minute. No room in there anymore. Um, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Where did I put you? There. Let's do this. Bone meal better work on this stuff. Oops, that I did not mean to do. All that. Alrighty. Um, so what you could do with this stuff is just three. Like that. Now I have a whole bunch of string. And that will be a good little farm going forward. I can now put these away. Put that in there. Good. Get this back out again. Two of them. Two of them. And I remember the hammer from immersive engineering is... I think I'm right. That, but then with a string. Yes. Okay. And now what we can do is we go and build the coke oven. Uh, I think I'm going to stick this right over in the far corner. And what it is is three by three by three structure. So we're just going to build it up like this. And then you get your hammer and you right click the side you want to be the front and then you have this gooey you put coal in there and it turns it into coal coke all right guys thank you very much for watching we didn't get a huge amount achieved today but slow progress we're getting there um so again see you next time in episode eight i believe and um as always take care